In this video, we're going to talk about writing to a text file. We're going to talk about a new function that allows you to write new data to a text file and then create your own text files from scratch. So the function that helps you write data to a text file is called fprintf. And so fprintf is very similar to a function that we had talked about before called sprintf. Um, and so the syntax for using the function is, so there's no output because it's printing it to a new file, um, but we're gonna say f print, oh, that's a terrible in, f print f. And so the first input will be a file handle that you've previously opened with writing permissions. Um, and I usually call my file handles that I've opened with write permissions FHW, okay? And then after that, then you can create some sort of formatted string, right? And so this formatted string will kind of be a string with some gaps in it that tells you later on that, hey, fill this gap in with a string, fill this gap in with a double, so on and so forth. Um, and so we'll say formatted string. And then after that, then you have all of your different data that you wanna fill in the gaps with. So um, let's say data one, that's a one, data two, so on and so forth. So the number of gaps that you have, um, these will be the number of variables, the number of values that you'll fill in those spots with. And so let's do an example. So let's say I wanted to open, I wanted to create a new file. Let's say I wanted to call it um, example.txt. So beforehand, I need to first open this file with writing permissions. So I'll call it fhw, this file handle. So I'll say f open. And I want to create this example dot txt okay and now i want to open this with writing permissions it's very important that you open with writing permissions because if you've opened a file with reading permissions you cannot use that file handle with fprintf right uh, the same way that if you open a file with writing permissions you can't use that file handle with um, fgetl or fgets so i'm opening this file with writing permissions and so at this point in time if that file doesn't exist matlab will create that new file and it'll be an empty blank file um, that's ready for you to start writing to at the first line. If that file does exist, MATLAB will delete everything that's inside of the file, which could be what you want, or it could be delete, or it could be deleting everything from a file that you didn't want to delete, which might cause a problem. Um, so I've opened this with the writing permissions, and let's say I wanted to um, write a couple of lines to my text file that says, my name is blank and my age is blank, okay? Um, in order to do this, uh, let's do this with, let's do this with two um, fprintf statements. So first off, I could say um, fprintf, printf, um, and so I would wanna put in my file handle with writing permissions, and I would have the string, uh, my name is, and let's leave a blank here for a string. So we're gonna do percent %s, okay? And then let's say I had a variable that contained um, a string that I wanted to put in for the name. Let's say that variable is called name. I'll do this in like a different color, okay? And so in this case here, when this is evaluated, this will be printing um, the new file or the, this new line into my new file that it's gonna be my name is, and it's gonna fill it in with our, whatever that string is. And so let's do another um, new line. And so if I do f print f, fhw, and say my age, my age is, and let's leave a spot for a double, okay? And let's say I have a variable called age. Cool. So now in this case here, it's going to also print to the new file. And so let's see what, let, let's draw out an example of like what this would look like. So if I had this new file, let's, let's, um, I'll draw a nice little rectangle over here. Okay. Let, oh, let's do a different color. Let's do it. Oh, let's do orange. I like orange. Okay. And so this will be the file that is example dot txt okay and so in this case here let's say for instance um so my name is uh canton so let's say this was actually canton 
And how old am I right now? I am 26. Okay. And so if we were to write this, these two lines of code, okay, um, what would happen is it would first open the file, cool, writing permissions. Then the next line is going to write that next line to my file. So it's going to put um, my, uh, do my name is Canton. Oops, it's not going to be a string. Let's do Canton. Cool, right? It's going to be in the file. And so let me not put these asterisks because everything in there is a char. And then when it reaches the next line, it's going to say, okay, my name or my age is blank. It's going to print that into the file as well. But notice here, it's just printing everything to the file. And I haven't told it that I want these to show up on different lines. So therefore, this one here, let me do this, or box this in blue, will then print to the file, my age, age is 26. That's terrible handwriting, but you get the idea. The thing here is that everything is going to show up on the exact same line. And that's not what I wanted, presumably. What if I wanted these to be on two different lines in my text file? I have to tell MATLAB to put in a new line character. Okay, It doesn't do that by default. I have to tell it to put in a new line character. Um, and so in this case here, I can modify um, this first f printf call here to put in, oh, mm, I will put this in after the percent %s, a backslash n, okay? And then let's say my second line, I don't want to put um, a backslash n. So in this case here, if I put that backslash n in the first f printf, now my new file, I'll draw it down here. Why did I make this box so big? Okay. Well, that's probably like the same exact size I just did. Um, so the first time it's going to put my name is, uh, let's do this in red, I guess. My name is Cantuan. Oh my God, I don't want to write this. Okay. And then now it's going to imprint that backslash in. Okay. We won't be able to see it, but now the next thing that I print will be on the next line. So therefore, the next line will have my age is 26, okay? And so, once again, there is an invisible backslash in on this first line, okay? Well, let's do it in purple, just to be consistent. And there is not a backslash in, an invisible backslash in on the second one, because I didn't include it. I didn't tell it to do that. Um, and so fprintf is a function that allows you to start creating and printing new lines to a file. So in that last example, we saw that you can call fprintf multiple times in order to print data into a new text file. And so we also saw that um, if you don't include the backslash in, it's just gonna put everything onto one line. Um, and let's say we didn't want that. And let's say, for example, we had absolutely nothing better to do with our lives, and we wanted to create a new text file that every single line contains a number from one to a million, right? So I want a million lines in my file. Um, in order to do this, we can use fprintf, but I'm not going to use, I'm not going to type out a million different lines, right? Uh, or a million different fprintf calls. Instead, I can use a loop to um, iteratively call fprintf to create new lines in this file. And so let's do that. So the first thing I have to do is I first have to open my file with writing permissions. So let's do fhw, fopen, and let's say I wanted to call this file numbers.txt numbers.txt, and I want to open this with writing permissions. Awesome. So then now I want to iteratively print new lines to this file. Okay. And so since I want to since I want to go from one to a million, I can just use a for loop in order to do that. So I can say for, let's say x is one to a million. One two three. One two three. Okay. Now inside of this loop, I can call fprintf. So I'll say f print f and so the first input is my file handle with writing permissions and then next is my formatted string so i'm just going to have percent d it's a placeholder for my number and then since i want these numbers to show up on different lines i would have to have backslash n and then the value that i want to put into that spot is x awesome and so i can end this loop 
And it's always good practice, like I said before, to always close files when you're done with them. So therefore, I'm going to say f close outside of the loop, fhw. Okay. And so what this is doing is this is creating a new file. Let's do a different color. A new file called numbers.txt, right? When the first line is going to be the number one, second line the number two, third line, so on and so forth, okay? Blah, 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 right? Until we get down to a million. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now notice here in our loop, right, we're including that backslash in, right? So every single one of these lines has a backslash in on it, okay? Including this last one, okay? And so since we have a new line character on that last one, we are going to have an extra line at the bottom. So our file will actually be a million and one lines, okay? Um, a lot of times this might not be a problem, okay? But what if it is? Like, what if we wanted to only have a million lines. So all of my previous lines, I want to have backslash ends on them, except for my last one. How could I change this? Um, I could easily do this with like an if statement inside of my loop, right? I'm not going to rewrite it all uh, because that would make things very messy. But inside of here, I could say if my x is not a million, then run this line of code, f printf with a thing with a backslash in. But if it is a million, then call f printf, but don't include that backslash in. Okay? And so after running this line, or after running this code, I would then have this new text file that has all of my numbers from one to a million. I feel great about myself. I don't know why I did this, but we've now learned how to like create a new text file from scratch.